Shalom, 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 shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. <clears throat> Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. All right, I'm your fellow servant, Malakia, uh, coming in with another lesson today. All right, it's going to be a lesson, uh, land backing from off the brother, uh, GMS must endure, 144K, ba. Uh, his video is titled, Work on Eliminating All Doubt from Your Mind. Okay, and he has it in parentheses, faith. <clears throat> All right, uh, you know, subscribe to that brother's channel, you know, and, and get edified. Um. This is a, a, a very beautiful lesson that the brother had done, all right, through the spirit, all right. He was focusing on, you know, for us not to doubt, um, for us to have more faith, you know, when we send our requests, all right, especially to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Bashai, all right, because the times that we're getting ready to enter in, <clears throat> it's getting ready to be like a time like no other. It's going to be a time to where you're not going to be uh, at a point to where you will have to be doubting okay it's not a time for you to doubt Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai <clears throat> here it is this devil's clamping down on everything he's you know while we're sleeping and, and you know overnight he's putting things up he's he's passing different laws all right he's forwarding his agenda because this devil all right is is trying to usher in all right his plans all right He's going to come, all right, with these draconian laws. He's coming, all right, to, 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 to show you his horns, all right? The whole time he's been smiling in our faces, okay, with that, with the blue eyes and the blonde hair and, you know, it, it, you know it's, it's deceiving, all right, with the smiles and the handshakes, all right? But we're getting ready to see another whole person, all right? We're getting ready to see... All right, this devil. Uh, so scripture goes into. Uh, <clears throat> it also says that uh, uh, you know, like uh, as if thou how if thou has uh, wiped a looking glass. All right, and you and you're gonna see. All right, that his rust has never uh, uh, went away. It's still there. So we're getting ready to see a time to where Esau Edom is getting ready to come in like a flood. He's getting ready to come in, uh, 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 not sparing no man, no woman, no child, all right? But it's going, to, it's going to have to come a time, all right, with you, all right? Speaking of myself, first and foremost, all right, that we are to keep working on eliminating all the doubt from our minds, especially in this time before that time comes, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, this I got the word faith. It says faithfulness to a trust or promise. Okay. Ah, oh, Salakia. Man, Salakia, let me get this part off. There it is. Esau always want to put this stuff up here. Salakia. <laughs> All right. It says <clears throat> loyal, loyalty to a person, <clears throat> honesty, truthfulness, faith, belief, your trust. What's that Proverbs? We get that right quick. Proverbs 18 and 10. All right. Because we trust in the names of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Let's get it right quick. It's the book of Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. All right. So this is, you know, the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. It is a strong tower. All right, we run it into that name at every instant. All right, that if you know us, you know, giving thanks unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, or when it's a time of trouble and a time of need, we still call upon the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, whether it's good or whether it's bad. Okay, and this is how we are, are safe. All right, we are in that safe hev uh, haven. All right, through the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and us and our belief and our faith, all right, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let's go back into it. 
our confidence, our pledge, confidence, reliance, credits, and belief to trust, to confide, and to persuade. All right, and I got that scripture right here. It's the book of Romans 14 and verse 5. One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. And the point, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. We have to be persuaded in our own mind to know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, our right, is not going to leave us nor forsake us. Okay? What's that? Um, Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 2. Alright, so let's see if we can get this. Alright, so it's the book of Sarat, chapter 2. Hmm. Let's start at verse 4. Sirach chapter 2, verse 4. <clears throat> Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Alright? Whether things go our way or whether things don't go our way, take these things cheerfully because it is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai who has placed these things upon us. Alright? We're not supposed to be doubting. Alright? Shows you a, a lack of faith. It says, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him. Trust in him. Alright? Our confidence, keep that all in him. And he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Alright? <clears throat> Always trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright? Call upon him while he is near. Many people they don't they don't understand, all right, the uh, the the gift that the heavenly Father has uh, bestowed unto us. It says, "Ye that fear the Lord, wait for His mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall." You doubt if you don't wait. If you're not waiting for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, if you're not waiting on His mercy. <clears throat> You're not walking in the right paths of what he told you to uh, walk in for you to trust in him. And especially in this time that we're getting ready to come. All right. And you're doubting. All right. You're going to go onto the side and you're going to fall. It says, ye that fear the Lord. This will be the elect, especially in these last days. They're the only ones that's going to turn back into their power. It says, ye that fear the Lord, believe him. Have faith in him that he's going to be able to get you out of whatever situation you come across. Especially in this time that we're getting ready to enter into. So on our daily walk, speaking to myself first and foremost, all right, the Lord, he, 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 he exercises our faith all right, by putting us through these different circumstances. So that we can call upon him, all right. And that what we ask the Lord to help us in that time of need. Because it's, it's, it's exercises, you know, and, and the Lord is getting us prepped up for the time to come. <clears throat> it says, and your reward shall not fail. So as long as you believe on your how by Shem Shai, as long as you don't doubt. Okay. Your reward shall not fail. Those who endure unto the end. All right shall be saved ye that fear the Lord hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy look at the generations of old and see look throughout all the scriptures look from the beginning all the way into the end look through all of the scriptures all the stories everything every account did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? You can't find not one account in the scriptures that goes into that. Okay? So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is for us. This is the book of Proverbs 24 and verse 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, Thy strength is small. You wasn't exercising uh, 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 these gifts, all right? 
you wasn't exercising calling upon the name of Yahweh by Shimyama Shai. All right? You wasn't praying to Yahweh by Shimyama Shai. You wasn't fasting unto Yahweh by Shimyama Shai. All right? So that day is going to come, all right, to where, you know, if you call upon the name of Yahweh by Shimyama Shai, <clears throat> you're not going to be ready. All right? It says, if thou faint in the day of adversity. Okay, let me get that word, um, adversity right quick. Um, all right, so this is uh, the word adversity. All right, it goes into it's a noun. <clears throat> um, it says condition of misfortune, mis misfortune, hardship, difficulty, and distress. All right, even the scriptures talk about it. Um, and the the I think it's in the book of Luke. And it says, and it shall be distressed upon uh, the nations. All right. It goes into a circumstance that causes anxiety or hardship. All right. The time that we're getting ready to come into is going to be times of uh, um, hardship, difficulty, different circumstances. It's going to have us in uh, different situations. And then if you don't have, you know, the faith in that time. All right. You're going to easily fall. All right, it's a parable um, that Yahweh Shah was going into, um, uh, going into um, the man that built his uh, house upon uh, the sand. I believe I believe it's the the sand. All right, it goes into how great his fall was. Uh, let me see how. Let me get that right quick. How great his fall. KJV. Let me see if it'll pop up right quick. Okay, Matthew 7. <clears throat> this is the book of Matthew 7, verse, <clears throat> verse 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. Okay, that's the foundation. All right, you want to be able to have a strong foundation all right especially set all right, right before these uh times of adversity come arise it says and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock all right so it don't matter what comes our way all right we're going to be protected all right by yahweh by shimmy all right especially in these last days all right, because what we were founded upon that rock, which is who Yahweh Shai. It says, and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man. All right, when you look at the two thirds of the nation of Israel, all right, the ones that's caught up in the cares of this life, the ones who uh, don't want to receive this truth, the ones who are blinded. All right, these are the the, the foolish men. Okay, the foolish man and the foolish women that's out there. All right, because they don't understand the time of judgment. All right, that's approaching. It says, and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. Okay, it wasn't no strong foundation to hold up the house. All right, they have nothing to lean on. It says, and the rain descended, and the floods came. You can liken that until when Esau, Edom come in like a flood. All right? The scriptures talk about how he's going to come in. Uh, let me get it right quick. You know, I don't want to butcher the scripture right quick. Um, it's in 2 Ezra 16. Because <clears throat> I spoke on it earlier. When Esau come in, all right, like a flood. Just the book of 2 Ezra 16 and... And um, okay, around verse seventy, we'll start at verse seventy. It says, "For there shall be in every place, and in the next cities, 
a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Okay, it's going to be an uprising. Okay, against the people who fear the Lord. All right, you Israelites. It says they shall be like madmen. And who's going to be like madmen? It's going to be Esau Edom. All right, the so-called white man today, the Edomites. All right, the Lord's going to have a, 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 a harsh spirit on them. All right, that ancient spirit. All right, from back then, it's going to uh, be revived again. It ain't going to be no more smiling in your face. All right. Him trying to shake your hand. It's going to be him trying to slay you. So it's going to be the time of the adversity. All right. When this devil come and make his move. It says they shall be like madmen sparing none. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. It's going to be a time to where you're going to be homeless. Okay? Who are you going to call on? Alright? It's only going to be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's if you had a faith. You see, this is the Lord. He's exercising our faith right now through these different circumstances to, to get us prepped up for these times to come. It's going to be a time for us not to doubt. It says, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. Okay, it's going to be known the ones who actually fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They're not going to give a, 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 a care, all right, in this world, okay, when this time comes. They're going to let everything go. It ain't going to matter about their house their job, their cars, their family, they're going to let all these things go. All right? This is why they're going to shine in that day while everyone else is going to try to hold on to this life. It says, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Okay? When you want to get all the, in, in, all the impurities, all right, out of that gold and to have it pure, Okay, it has to go through a, 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 a series of tests through the fire to burn off all those impurities. All right, to have it pure. And that's what the Lord is trying to do unto the elect. Okay. To have them to be the spinning image of Yahweh by Hashem So they're going to have to go, all right, through these different trials and tribulations. It says, Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. You see? So the days are at hand. Okay? When we see Esau, Edom, he's making his moves. He's doing all these things. <clears throat> showing us that what the times are speeding up. And he's showing us that the Lord is showing us that this is a time to come to where... You know, if you don't have faith in that time, okay, you're going to be left out there with the rest of these other people. Verse 75, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. Okay, it's going to be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that's going to guide us. Um, it's going to be Proverbs, like when you read the scriptures, Proverbs 20 and 24, all right, it, it states, it says, man's goings are of the Lord. How shall a man uh, know his way? So this is how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to be our guide. He's going to have a spirit on us to where we're going to be able to move and to maneuver while all chaos is going to be happening. It's going to be a time for you not to doubt Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's going to be a time for you to gird up your loins and, and to keep the faith all the way into the end till we see Yahweh Shai return. See if I need to get a little bit more. I want to keep dragging the lesson out. <coughs> I read a little bit more. It says, And the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord God, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. All right. You don't want to be in a time when all chaos and everything starts to happen. All right. And you got all these heavy laden uh, sins on your mind that you just did probably a couple weeks before. Uh, prior all right before all hell breaking loose so now that's going to be on your mind so now you're going to start doubting 
All right. So this is why the Lord, he wants us to continually uh, for us to walk in the spirit. All right. Let the world have what they have out there. All right. They're going to get destroyed right along with it. All right. So you don't want to have your sins to weigh you down. All right. And your iniquities to lift up themselves. All right. When this time comes or else. If you have these things on your mind, you're going to have that demon of doubt. Okay. Um, let me go a little bit more on the word adversity. And then we can get ready to close out. Because this is the time that we're getting ready to enter. Let me read that Proverbs 24 again. And then we can finish it. Um, Proverbs 24 and 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Okay. Your faith is small. Okay. You don't want to have it to the point to where when all these calamities and all these different things come, all right, you fall in that day because you start to doubt. Just like the brother had that video, um, work on eliminating all doubt from your mind, okay? This is the time to exercise that more and more. Um, it says adversity, calamity, misfortune, hostility, wickedness, and malice, opposition. You know, you know how the people say in the world, you know, the ops, <laughs> you know, you're going to be at all odds. OK, when, you know, Esau Edom comes in like a flood, when everything is against. All right. You OK, like I had read that uh, parable going to Matthew 27 in, in verse what, 24 through 27. All right. You'll want to be as the foolish man. All right, when the rain descended and the floods came and when it blew and beat upon that house. And it said, and when it fell, it was a great fall of it. You don't want to be all the way into the end and you start doubting and then you have a great fall and you fall with the rest of the world. All right, so this is just a lesson on, you know, for us to keep working on eliminating all the doubt. All right, for us to keep the faith, to keep pushing. All right. Even though we know all these different adversities and calamities is getting ready to come. All right. But we're still supposed to trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Now and more than ever. All right. So, a hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Akwatim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully let scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth around your fellow servant Malachia. Shalom.